Hey everybody, I just wanted to come um, and do an update video. It's been officially one, one full month since I've stopped um, getting my chemo sessions. So I wanted to kind of touch base with everybody and show you, you know, how I've been doing and talk to you guys. As you can see, my hair it is growing in nicely. You know, I, didn't, I have no product on my hair right now, so this is just straight out the shower, air dry. But once I put a little moisturizer in it and everything like that, it looks a lot better. And my curls, uh, they do what they want to do. But um, yeah, so far, like I said, it's been a month since I um, finished my chemo sessions. I am super excited. It's um, it's obviously is a different world from having the chemo sessions every two weeks. Um, but I feel great. My doctor told me I would feel so much energy that you'll feel like, you know, you're getting stronger every day, which is very true. I mean, you still have your days where you feel a little tired, but that's natural. But um, I'm excited since uh, I've stopped um, my chemo sessions. I've been working out consistently every single day. Saturdays and Sundays are my only two days that I give myself where I... Um, basically will relax and you know enjoy my husband and do activities but I don't OD when it comes to food I'm still very mindful of like okay you know I'm not working out today but I'm gonna I'm not gonna go eat like you know mad pies pizza pies and things like that I'm gonna still eat accordingly but um it's just no pressure uh, for me on those days but Monday through Friday you know I get my workout in I'm doing my um my on the treadmill um, toning and things of that nature um, using my own body weight and things like that so my body is getting stronger which is very good um, I do have some updates as far as when I'm supposed to um, get my port removed and surgery and things of that nature so first I have um, a lung test that's coming up on the end of this month where they test your lungs. Um, when you're going through chemo, you do have um, certain t certain testing they do on the heart and the lungs to make sure that they're still working and functioning properly. Because with the chemo medicine, it does cause um, you know permanent damage sometimes, and depending on how uh, how strong your medication is, you know that's something that's they want to make sure that it's not affecting those things because the chemo is being flushed and is going directly to the heart, the body, you know? So they don't want anything to happen to you. Um, but uh, I have that test. I really hate that long test because it's like you're in this glass, this glass box and you're blowing into a machine and they keep having you do this test over and over until you get it right. So you could be in there for a good 40 minutes and I just don't care for it but I have to get it done and then in April um, April 11th I'm supposed to go for my PET scan which will determine for sure if I'm cancer free or you know what's next but I'm claiming that I'm cancer free I'm in remission um, my previous PET scan showed that there was no signs of cancer but I still had to continue with my um, my chemo treatment so I, I'm just believing by faith, but I do want to say, like, my it, my mind has been playing tricks on me sometimes um, during this duration of knowing that I'm going to be approaching on my um, getting my PET scan because it's like the fear of knowing that it could come back. You, no one wants to feel like you know all that work, chemo sessions, and feeling sick that you're going to have to go back to that. You know, so. Naturally, I'm a human, so my mind does think like that, but I know that's the enemy just getting in my head telling me, hey, Jess, you know, oh, you you know, the cancer's coming back, but as long as I believe by faith, not by sight, that I'm healed and I'm in remission and I'm getting better and stronger every day, you know, losing weight, I'm not going to let the enemy take that away from me, you know, because I I feel like I was feeling great and then I started getting in this rut recently and I was like, ah, I just, I'm not going to receive that, so... I just said I'm going to come and update my um, my followers and friends and family who are watching from afar, um, let you know what I've been going through. 
but I am so excited on what God has in store for me. I know that I have a purpose and I'm going to walk in my purpose, which is continuing to share my story with everybody because there is life after chemo. You know, there's life in remission and I want to make sure that I can help as many people as possible throughout their cancer journey because I know when I was going through mine, I was all over the internet looking at people's story and just getting inspired and I just wanted to be able to be a part of that and help somebody while they're going through what they're going through. So my videos have helped me during my journey and they still help me. So that's why I was like, you know what, I gotta do my, um, my videos because it's been a while and I haven't talked to anybody and shared with you guys. And then I looked at the calendar, I was like, oh crap, today's March 16th. It's officially a one month since I stopped having chemo. So I said, I gotta make a video today. So I just wanted you guys to know that I'm doing great. You know, continue to lift me up in prayer because the enemy is busy. But um, also I want you guys to keep a, be on the lookout for the great things that is gonna be coming my way. You know, I'm excited. I'm not gonna share it right now, but just know that there's good things that's gonna um, be coming my way. And um, when I have it fully, um, ready to go then I will address that at a later video but I just want you to just keep praying for me I'm getting stronger you know and hey I got my just do it t-shirt on because I'm like just do it get out there and do what you got to do don't let nobody say you can't do it so um, other than that I think I've updated you as far as when my next appointments are going oh as far as the port my port this here it's been a headache so my doctor I'm so excited because usually you have to keep this in for like two years my doctor's like no it's not beneficial for you to have it if you know you're in so much pain when I tell you this this is painful it's painful so with that being said he said after my pet scan comes back and we're believing by faith it's gonna come back clear cancer free then I'll be able to have surgery and um, I'll get it removed so we're just we're, we're working by faith right now so keep me in your prayers um, so that I'll be able to have that surgery um, probably the end of April so let's just I'm looking to a great 2017 I will continue to keep you guys posted more frequently um, as I can but I just want you to know that you know I'm here March 16th is one month um, post chemo and remission so I'm excited and you there's you know the best is yet to come so I'll talk to you guys later hugs and kisses blessings and love bye peace